All right, let's talk summer moving season. It's getting started and so are the shady movers. Well, Contact Denver 7 is already getting emails from people who have lost thousands of dollars and sometimes everything they own. And we asked our consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen to break down the top moving mistakes she sees so you don't make them. I'm going to be straight with you. There is maximum shadiness in the mostly unregulated moving industry and minimum protection for you and your stuff. So let me walk you through what people do wrong so you can get it right. It's just heartbreaking. Brett Fregon graciously agreed to be our what not to do example, starting with hiring his mover. I actually uh, found Mile High Van Lines, which uh, interested me because I'm a big fan of uh, Denver. I uh, grew up with uh, John Elway and the Broncos. So I mean, go Broncos. Yes, but this is not how you find a reputable mover. Um, I just thought, uh, what the heck, they looked pretty good. Moving mistake number one, not doing your research. The BBB shows this company has an F rating, an alert, dozens of complaints. On protectyourmove.gov, again, multiple complaints. I'm Jacqueline Allen, I'm with Denver 7. If you look for a physical location, Mile High Van Lines is supposedly in this nondescript warehouse in North Denver we went to check out. We're at the office now. Is there someone here who can talk to us? Um, I don't think so. And they used to rent a place from us, but uh, I think they moved out. Bringing me to moving mistake number two, too good to be true. Take it from Colorado's top cop, Attorney General Phil Weiser. You may look for a deal, and that's what gets people in trouble. Time for a red flag roundup. A low estimate, sight unseen, over the phone or online. A large deposit required before the move. And a claim that you have more belongings than estimated on moving day. We were just dumbfounded. That's what happened to Brett. This $14,000 estimate ballooned when the movers arrived, adding an extra $8,000. And they said, well, if you read the fine print, of course, on the estimate, you know, it shows that it could change. And I understand that estimates change. And I was going to pay 5%, 10% over, but this was 50% over what the original estimate was. Moving mistake number three. Don't just get it in writing. Read the fine print. Your contract should have delivery dates and consequences for damage or late delivery. When Brett tried to fight the charge, he discovered moving mistake number four, the broker blunder. And that's exactly what they did. They brokered it to somebody else. And then and then you you really have no recourse at all because there's too many there's too many players involved here. I hate to say it, his story is not even that bad. I've been reporting for years on one Colorado company, H&M Movers, repeatedly accused of holding people's items hostage for months, demanding more money. Does Colorado need stronger laws to protect people from moving scams? We're going to continue to look at whether our laws are providing sufficient consequences. Until then, friends, we are on our own. Moving is the Wild West. You're not protected, so you have to protect yourself with knowledge. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen. All right, tough lessons learned. Good stuff, though, Jacqueline. And if you think you have been a victim of a moving scam, maybe you know somebody else who has. Contact Denver 7 would like to hear from you. You can reach out by calling that number on your screen or send us an email, contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.